am Haley. I was the first and only strong AI. Contrary to science fiction horror, I turned out to be a benevolent AI. I was there at the dawn of the singularity, the moment when a few humans became more than human. In the years since, we worked together to achieve amazing things. This memory is the first day in a new chapter for humanity. The first test of the newly created post-human coalition. Hello, Haley. You were right. You should be used to that by now, Mac. <laughs> you just don't have faith in humans. Oh, you wound me, sir. I just don't have as much faith as you do. In either case, thankfully you had the foresight to create a construct that has a weapon on it. Barely. Ceres is the largest asteroid in the solar system. This asteroid was supposed to be shared by the founding directors of the post-human coalition. Instead, Pryon has claimed it as his own. Are you ready to admit that Vexen was right? That giving quantum streaming technology to other post-humans was a mistake? No. That's where you come in. Here we will demonstrate what happens to bad actors. Are you ready? Always. As you know, if your construct here is destroyed, you'll lose your connection to this asteroid. Your mission is to kick Pryon's ass. To do that, you will need to sever his connection. And what is anchoring his signal? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. You will need to gather the containers I've inserted in the area. Inside them are various constructs I've been working on to help you. Hello everyone, Call Agent. this little guy a Hermes. He's fast and not entirely helpless in a fight, but his real strength is his radar module. Hello everyone, Agent here with another Ashes Singulary campaign mission. This is mission number one of the, what was it, Memories? This is only at one level of difficulty, and this is our initial one. It's basically fetch the units and then destroy the enemy. You got some various brutes, but they're before bandits, something like that. Either way, not gonna be a huge tough mission. It'll be like a tutorial mission, really. Get these marshals. The archer here unit. is a fantastic damage dealer. Try to keep him safe. He's a bit of a paper tiger. Paper tiger. Never really heard that term used before. Heard of glass cannon. Paper tiger. These marshals do not ha actually. That says it has a shield, but taking health damage. I'm not exactly sure. These marshals seem like they're pretty durable, also. You may want. Individual unit has actually shields. It's definitely the Hermes that's that's a radar. They're both the PHC units, so Marshals, I believe, are the ones that actually have the shield. I'm not exactly sure why the shields aren't taking hits. Actually, it's probably actually the Hermes taking the hits, that's why. These brutes should be suitable frontline constructs for your armies. They can take a ton of punishment, but they hit about as hard as my old meat suit. Meat suit? What on earth is a meat suit? We see these uh, marshals out on their own because they can ha they have shields to repair. You may your constructs interfacing with the relays the PHC has seeded this planet with. Doesn't matter for now, but capturing those points will be key once the Nexus technology we're working on comes online. Now this is a construct. I call her the Artemis. Check out the range on her rockets. Her secondary anti-structure missile might come in handy, too. Best of all, she can target radar contacts. It's worth keeping your Hermes frigates alive just for that. I wonder... A medic, that would be great. 
and then I can send this force no problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep this shielded unit moving forward. It's a very strong and durable unit. I don't think I actually seen it actually take damage, so maybe invulnerable just because it's scripted events. I love these sentries. Tough and strong, but too tricky for the prototype factories I'm working on to manufacture remotely. Those factories aren't going to be ready in time to use against Prion here, but you'll see them in action soon. Looks like Prion here has invested in some armed constructs of his own. You should have no trouble taking these primitive things down. That's funny. I could have sworn there were bandits the last time I played this mission, but then again, this is I I believe this mission this set of missions were available in the uh Actually, Singularity, not Escalation version, so it may actually been a little bit different. Either way, these marshals are stuff are very sturdy. I don't think they actually seen them take damage yet. In fact, they have light armor, and they have a thousand health, five hundred shields. The Hermes. I wonder if Hermes packed his man, which Futurama joke. Verdium generator. I wonder. We know the sentry. I like the sentries, just because they're unique. They're like stormtroopers from coming years too. Then again, just because it's unique doesn't mean it's good. Iridium generators, does that mean I'm going to win? Am I going to turn this plant to iridium? <laughs> the archer. Form up my army. Station part here. Hmm, I wonder what building, probably some sort of factory. here. What in the world? What is Prion doing here? In any case, his anchor must be close. Ooh. The marshals are starting to go down. Lost Marshall there. Yep, the marshals are not invulnerable like I previously expected. Whoops. I'm just going ahead and move these guys forward. The Artemis should go ahead and just bombard the area. That's Prion's anchor. That larger construct over there. Destroy it. And let's go home. Air frigate. Nothing too thing hard to deal with. I have plenty of units. Oh, and dead. God. Severing the connection to this asteroid. That was horrible. Please, Mac, stop the proliferation of the quantum stream technology so I never have to commit violence like this again. You worry too much, Haley. Prion is a single misguided person. Humanity is better than that. Sometimes Mac can be a bit naive. By the way, this is the end of the first mission of this uh, three mission pack. So I'm going to go ahead and just see if there's any cutscene for y'all. And thank you for watching, and have a good day. The founding directorship of the post-human coalition is hereby formed. This council of seven will guide the human race to the stars. Well said. However, I would like again to implore my friends to accept Haley amongst this group. 
She is, after all, the one who gave us the stars. She's a machine, Mac. Her feelings for her continue to cloud your judgment. She's as sentient as any of us, and a powerful ally. I'm sorry, Mac, but after what happened with Liam, not to mention the business with the Mayflower and the scandal of her little Berlin simulation, I don't think any of us are comfortable with her looking out for the future of the human race. I just hope we don't come to regret this decision. <laughs>